Spinal stenosis can be first treated conservatively, such as with medication, physical therapy, exercise, and weight management. The patient may decide to have surgery if the symptoms are severe and cause significant dysfunction. In this video, I will explain the symptoms and the treatment options of lumbar spinal stenosis. My name is Dr. Tony Stiobudi. I'm an orthopedic and spine surgeon at Mount Elizabeth Hospital, Singapore. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Please help me to subscribe if you have not done so. I will share more medical information about bone, joint, and spine issues. If you have any medical conditions or treatment you want to know about, please write it down in the comment section below. I will try my best to answer your questions, maybe explain it in another video. Spinal stenosis in the lower back is commonly associated with degenerative changes related to aging. Doctors often call it spondylosis. The changes include arthritis in the facet joints, thinning of the spinal discs, and thickening of the spinal ligaments. These changes narrow the space for the nerves in the spine. Spinal stenosis is more common in elderly, in individuals over 60 years of age, but it can occur in younger people, and typically it affects the lower part of the lumbar spine. In the initial stage of spinal stenosis, the changes often produce no symptoms. The symptoms of lumbar spinal stenosis developed slowly. As the condition progresses, the symptoms may worsen or become quite debilitating. For most people, the symptoms fluctuate with some periods of more severe symptoms and some with few or no symptoms at all. As the changes are getting worse, the patient complain of cramping pain in the calves, thighs, and buttocks, especially with walking. The pain is typically relieved with sitting. These symptoms is called neurogenic claudication. Over time, the pain may become more constant or severe. Other symptoms may include tingling, numbness, and weakness in the legs. In most cases, spinal stenosis are not serious. It is possible for spinal stenosis to lead to serious complications, but this is rare. Immediate attention is warranted when the stenosis compresses the cauda equina. Cauda equina is a collection of nerve roots or branches of the spinal cord. This is located in the lumbar spine. When all the nerve roots, including the nerve supplying the bowel and the bladder, are compressed, the patients will have difficulty passing urine. And this is very important to note. If the patient is unable to pass urine, the person should go to the hospital immediately. This condition is called cauda equina syndrome. It is a serious condition that require an emergency surgery to free up the nerve compression. Otherwise, the nerve damage can be permanent and delayed surgery may not help to recover the nerve function. Spinal stenosis can be first treated conservatively, such as with medication, physical therapy, exercise, and weight management. More invasive treatments such as spinal injection or surgery may be considered if the symptoms worsen and interfere with the patient's mobility and everyday life. The patient may decide to have surgery if the symptoms are severe and cause significant dysfunction. In the next video, I will share the treatment options for spinal stenosis in more detail. If you have any questions, about spinal stenosis and the treatment. Please write it down in the comment section below. If you have experience with any of the treatment, be it conservative injection or surgery that works for you or doesn't work for you, please also share it below. It may help other people with similar condition. Thank you for watching and I hope this information is useful to all of you. And if it does, 
please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and share this video and I hope to see you again in my next video. Bye-bye.